Hey everybody, Dr. Todd here from International American University. I want to talk to you about something that is extremely important. Please listen up. I guarantee you, if not you, somebody you know has this problem. We're talking about sleep. What's this got to do with business success, being a student, you know, being an entrepreneur, an employee? Well, lots of things. 80% of Americans are not getting enough rest. This costs the economy over $400 billion annually, not to mention an increased risk of heart attack, stroke, stress. And when you get proper sleep, you're 20% better in your memory. This is huge. It's something that we don't talk about enough. Here are a few strategies on how to get better sleep. Number one, are you eating three meals a day? Sounds obvious, but folks, when you don't eat enough, so many people I know skip breakfast or skip a meal. When you do that and you put your head on the pillow at night, your brain subconsciously is actually saying, hey, you didn't eat enough. We're not gonna let you sleep. You need to eat more calories. Eat during the day, eat healthy, take a multivitamin, and you will have better rest. Next, caffeine, I know. We all like to drink a cup of joe in the morning, but it stays in your system for 10 hours. If you are going to drink coffee, please do so in the morning and always drink water with it. Why? Because caffeine is a diuretic. It dehydrates us. And if you drink water, well, guess what? It's not quite as bad and slowly start to decrease the amount of caffeine you drink during the day. It's pretty impossible to ask people to not drink any caffeine but please do it in moderation. Next, bedroom is for sleeping, not texting or watching TV. Studies have shown that even if you just don't have a computer or a cell phone in your bedroom, well, guess what? You're going to sleep better. Also, these kinds of things, computer screens, TVs, they put out light. Light keeps us up. Don't look at any of this stuff 30 minutes before you go to bed. Keep it out of your bedroom. You'll sleep better. Next, exercise. Yes, we all can use a little bit more exercise, I suppose, and so many people say, hey, I don't have time. If you have time to watch TV, to do social media, you have time to exercise. You can do push-ups in your home. You can do standing squats in your home. Stretch. Even if you're just doing 15 minutes, something that gets your heart rate up, gets that blood a pumping, you're going to rest better at night. Next, stay away from the light. There's a lot of apartment buildings and different kinds of bedrooms that don't have very good shades or curtains. This allows a lot of light to come into your bedroom. It has been proven that if light is in your bedroom and has all this kind of illumination, you don't sleep as well. You can get those lighting guards from Home Depot and other places, get really good curtains. Make your bedroom as dark as possible. Okay, moving on. Clean bedroom and vacuum your mattress. Vacuum the mattress? Seriously? Yes, seriously. So, a lot of dust mites accumulate. You should, of course, vacuum your room, dust your room, make it as clean as possible. But vacuum that mattress. Now, some of my friends have told me, Todd, I wash my bed sheets. Isn't that enough? Actually, it's not. We shed skin as people. Millions of dust mites collect in the mattress. It affects our breathing. It's not a hygienic place to sleep. Make your room as clean as possible. You will breathe easier. Okay. Stress. 80% of us in the United States suffer from high stress, according to the Huffington Post. Here are some things you can do. Number one, meditation. This isn't touchy-feely. UCLA did a study that meditation actually changes the way our brain functions in a positive way. There's many meditation tapes on YouTube. You can go to the UCLA site to learn how they suggest on how you should meditate. But basically, breathing in from your nose, out through your mouth for 10 or 15 minutes in a dark setting giving your brain a break. Ashwagandha and Relora, these are not drugs. They are natural supplements that reduces cortisol. Cortisol is the stress hormone. One pill per meal. Melatonin, sure you know this, but that's the sleep hormone. 
if you are trying all these other things and it's not working, you can take a melatonin natural supplement at night and therefore you will be able to sleep more easily. Finally, if none of these things work, if none of them are working, say, hey Todd, I've tried all of your strategies, I'm still not sleeping well, it's just not happening for me, go to the doctor, okay? They can do a sleep study. I am not 100% against prescription medication, but what I am for is trying all these other strategies first to see if they work, but you might need some temporary medical help if it's really severe insomnia. And you can even request an allergy test. So many Americans and people around the world are walking around with allergies and they don't know it. That affects our breathing, it affects our ability to sleep. Please tell us what you want us to hear about from International American University. We will work with the scientists, work with the experts, bring you the latest research. We'll talk to you soon.